how to ask photography clients for testimonials. So you know that testimonials are great for marketing and you see that other photographers have testimonials all over their website, in their social media, but you don't know how to get them. Well, I'm gonna walk you through my three-step process to get amazing, effective testimonials that you can use to bring in new paying clients. Now, all three steps are super important. So if you skip something, it won't work, I promise. It's showtime. Hello, I'm Mike Lloyd. I run a multi six figure boudoir studio in Silicon Valley, California, and I love making money. Testimonials are a fantastic way to help your marketing because they serve two purposes. One, it shows that somebody else has already hired you and they had a good enough experience to share it. Most people know that whenever someone gets on social media or Yelp and says anything about a business, usually it's a complaint because negative experiences more often than positive experience inspire someone to go out and tell people. So. If you have a ton of good things said about you, that must be a sign that you are really cool because most people don't go out of their way to say kind things about businesses. Also, it will help overcome objections. So this is why when you ask the question, how do I get testimonials from my photography clients? You should really be asking, how do I get effective testimonials from my photography clients? Because you can get all the testimonials in the world, but if they aren't done properly, they won't do you a gosh darn thing except take up space on your website. All right, so what's my process? Three steps. Step one, identify potential objections. Step two, ask leading questions. And step three, refine the answers. So firstly, overcoming objections. To me, this is the number one job of a testimonial is to overcome a client's potential objection. So what are the reasons somebody wouldn't hire us to do a boudoir session? Maybe they're not young and skinny. Maybe they don't have the budget for it. They think it's gonna be expensive. Maybe they're too old, they're too tall, they're too whatever. And we know that none of those things matter. We'll work with anybody who's cool and wants to pay us, more or less. So overcoming objections, somebody thinks that we're going to be way too expensive. What does expensive mean? Expensive means the money they are giving out is not worth the value they are receiving. Because if I sell you a car for $100,000, a Honda Civic for $100,000, you're like, that's stupid. I would never buy a Honda Civic for $100,000. I'm like, but the trunk is full of gold bars and you get free gas for life. Well, you're like, well, shoot, I'll take 12, right? That is a difference in value. So $100,000, not a big deal when you get a car full of gold and free gas for life. That is how you overcome the price category, right? If they think it's going to be too expensive, you get clients talking about how worth it the value was, how they would have happily paid more, it was worth every penny, all these incredible things. That is an example of using a testimonial to overcome an objection. So let's think about some more objections. How about I'm not young and skinny? So you have clients talk about their experience in feeling like they were too old to do this and now they're so thankful they did and they wish have done it. They wish they would have done it when they were younger or they're not skinny and they're like, I've had terrible issues with body dysmorphia and I thought I needed to be skinnier to feel pretty, but after doing this photo shoot, I've improved the relationship I have with my body. That is using a testimonial to overcome that objection. You're like, cool, how do I get people to say that? Because when I ask people for testimonials, they're like, I had a lot of fun and my photos were pretty. And that is basically worthless. Don't even put that on your website because nobody cares. You ask leading questions. Step two, think about your objections. How did you feel walking in the door to my studio compared to how did you felt after your photo shoot was done? This is a way to overcome the nervousness objection. I don't know if I can do it, I'm super nervous. I wish I was more confident. Maybe when I'm more confident, I'll do a photo shoot. That's just negative self-talk. So when you get clients who are saying, I was so nervous, I didn't sleep the night before, I couldn't eat breakfast, and I now I feel silly because I feel amazing after doing that shoot, like I have so much more confidence now, I can't wait to go out and take over the world. That is the kind of thing, but you're asking questions 
questions. How did you feel then versus how do you feel now? Or even talking about money, you know, uh, ask people like knowing the cost of this experience, do you feel good about your decision? And it should be like a resounding yes, because you're really happy clients. So be like, yeah, hundred percent. I will totally do this again also. Or your clients who say they're too old, ask them like now after having done the photo shoot, do you think that you're too old to have done it? Do you think you'll do it again in 10 years? And then they'll tell you like, oh man, after having done this, yeah, I'll totally do this again. And I wish I could have done this before. That little sound bite. now that I've done this, I will definitely do it when I'm 60. I wish I would have done it when I'm 30. That is gold right there because you know your 50 year old leads are looking at that being like, I was just thinking this, that I'm too old at 50. And now she's saying she'll do it at 60 and wishes she would have done it when she was younger. I don't want to regret having not done it done it. I better get on this. So you're getting into your client's heads. What are the reasons they're not going to do the shoot? And then you use your testimonials to overcome those objections because I can tell my clients all these things, but it's so much more powerful coming from someone else who went there. But again, it's knowing exactly what they're thinking, the objections and asking someone else guided questions. Because when you read a testimonial on a website, you don't know what the question was to get that testimonial, right? You just see their answer and you put that in the context of your own situation. That is, I mean, that's just psychology. That's what we do. We want to apply things to our own situation, which is why people say, why would that guy ever do the thing? That was totally stupid. Well, based on their experiences, their lifestyle, things that have happened to them in the past, that seemed like the safest next move. But you've had a different set of experiences, a different life, different influences. So you make decisions differently. But we're all fundamentally using the same processes, psychology, to make these decisions. Use that to your advantage. So let's do a quick recap. Step one, identify the objections. What is every reason somebody wouldn't do a shoot? Number two, you just had a client go through a positive experience What question do you need to ask them to get the answer that overcomes that objection? Then number three, refining the answer. I'm not a wordsmith, but if I sit down long enough and rewrite things, I can produce some pretty legit copy. Your clients, when you ask for testimonials, are going to give you something that's a really good starting place, but unless they're a copywriter, probably not going to be stellar. So what you can do, and this is great for text testimonials, is when somebody gives you the answer, you can reword it a little bit. You're not writing it for them. You are not rewriting everything. You are not faking the testimonials. But if somebody says something about the way they felt or part of the experience, you can tweak those words a little bit and then reach back out and say, hey, I'm so thankful for what you said. I think this flows a little bit better as a testimonial. Does this still sound or does this still resonate with what you were saying? Does this still align with what you were feeling and get their blessing on that? And then you can go ahead and use that. I don't have to do this very often because I've got really good at asking the questions to get the answers that I want. But there are times where I will make little adjustments and just make sure that that's okay. Because the last thing you want to do is get somebody's words, change them, post them. And they're like, I didn't say that. That's not what I meant. And then that's not a good experience for them. And you just probably lost a referral source. So valuing your client's opinion is great because you'll learn more about your client's experiences and you'll be a better marketer. And by showing your clients that you care, they're more likely to come back. You're building relationships and you can use that verbiage to attract new clients. It is a win all across the board. Just, you know, do it respectfully and don't change their words without checking with them first. So there you go. That is how to get effective testimonials from your photography clients. Figure out what the objections are, why someone wouldn't book you. Then ask really pointed questions to get your clients to say basically the social proof you need to overcome that objection. And then three, refine the answers. Usually everything's going to be fine, but sometimes you have to tweak it a little bit. Just make sure it still aligns with what your client said. If you want to learn more about how to build a photography business, maybe you're like, I would love to do this, but I don't have any clients coming in my door in the first place. I've got a killer video on my favorite ways to market in 2022. I will link to that down below. Check that out. Get some new clients in your door. 
I have a ton of other marketing videos here on this channel. And if you head to boudoirguild.com, you can check out the membership site where I give you my favorite ways where I book hundreds of clients a year into my own studio and I walk you through step by step exactly how I do it. You are amazing. I'll see you inside. Thank you.